Welcome to the Winston-Salem Elder Care Channel, brought to you by Greg Brewer and the folks at Right at Home of Winston-Salem. Today's guest is Debbie Pilson, Director of the Daybreak Respite Care Program of the Centenary United Methodist Church. Welcome to the Elder Care Channel here at Winston-Salem. And today we have Debbie Pilson, who is the Director of Respite Care for Centenary United Methodist Church. Welcome, Debbie. Thank you, Greg. Glad to have you here. Glad to be here. Thank you. Well, tell us about your program. Okay, the program is called Daybreak Respite Care, and it operates Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday um, at Centenary United Methodist. People who attend do not have to be members of the church. It's open to the community. The hours are from 10 to 3 on those four days a week. Um, someone who wants to bring their loved one, they don't have to come all four days. They can come one day, two days, three days, and it's $40 a day. And how long is that? For, is it eight hours or six uh, hours? Six hours. Six hours? Yeah. Yes. Or from 10 until 3. 10 from until 10, 3. 10 until 3. Five hours. So they can bring their loved one and it gives them an opportunity to... Do they have to stay or can they... No. It gives the caregiver the opportunity to go to work to uh, run errands. Respite means giving that caregiver a break from okay. their normal caregiving duties. Okay. So that caregiver, anyone who's taking care of a loved one, they know. They know. They when need. it's 24-7 care, you need that break. You need that even respite. If, even if it's just to rest or to get involved in reading or a hobby or having quiet time. So it gives that caregiver a break. But the purpose of the program is also to provide fun, stimulating activities for the participants um, so that they will have a good day. Great. That sounds like a very worthy program. So it, now, does, do, do the, your clients have to come from any particular geographical area? No. Even though we're located in downtown Winston-Salem, Centenary Methodist Church is beside the library, or what was the library. It's um, being rebuilt. Um, but people can come, participants can come from any county, okay. um, any county that's not restricted. Okay, well, great. Now, tell us, is there a typical type of client that you service? The typical, and we call them participants, Participant. the clients, um, they have moderate to mild dementia, some form of memory impairment or some type of dementia. We... Um, we do not have CNAs on staff. I'm a CNA, but we have a part-time person each day that works with me and volunteers. So we cannot handle those people who have memory impairment who may be totally incontinent or who may need hands-on care. They, we can give them guidance to the restroom and minimal assistance, but not hands-on care. We also are not a locked facility, of course. We're in a room in the downstairs area of the church, a big room. So if someone is a wanderer, uh, does a lot of wandering, we may not be able to handle that. Yeah, because safety is of utmost importance, too. Absolutely. Thank you, and thank you for sharing that. So yes. we want our audience to know what type of persons are you know, best serviced through your organization. Yes. So can you think of any uh, a particular uh, participant that comes to mind that you all have serviced and how your service may have uh, helped that individual or family? Well, there's a couple that come to mind. Uh, this is providing a lot of socialization to the participants in the group. And it's a small group. That's one of the things that makes us unique. I mean, it's a group of about 10 to 12 individuals. Right now, most of our group are men, as a matter of fact, but one of our participants is a retired attorney, and he loves coming. He started out two days a week, and now his family brings him four days a week, mm -hmm. and he says he's going to work. So he gets his briefcase, and sometimes he dresses in his suspenders, and he comes to work, and also sometimes he wants pay at the end of the day. <laughs> So sometimes that caregiver will give me um, a $20 bill. Uh, I give it to the participant at the end of the day, paying him for his work. And then um, it kind of cycles back around. Sure. So it makes him feel useful. 
and he loves to help out. You know, he's, uh, we have several men that love to clean up, you know, after lunch. Mm. And then we have a lady participant who's 87 years old. Her daughter works, has some flexible hours, some hours at home. Mm -hmm. And the daughter says, this is a lifesaver for her. We uh -huh. also provide a caregiver support group for mm -hmm. caregivers. Oh, great. Yes. I was going to ask my next question is, what makes your program unique? And it sounds like you've given us several of them. Makes the your participants feel like they are needed and wanted. And then the caregiver said it's the it's, it's a lifesaver for your caregiver. Yes, yes. And any other uniqueness to your organization's program? Because it is a small group, the participants get a lot of personal attention, one-on-one -on -one attention, and you know a lot of adult day care centers are great, but because we are small, we can provide that more personal. Some of the people say they're going to the club because they become very close. Um, I guess there's a lot like a of interaction, sure, you know, sure. among, and they look out after each other. And time so probably does fly between yes, 10 and 3. Yes. We laugh a lot. We have the most fun all day Good. long. Yes. Well, thank you for that service. It sounds uh, like it's a wonderful program for those who, who need it. Thank you, Greg. Well, let me ask you, is there any, anything else you'd like to share with the audience uh, about your program? Like, what is, how, how do people get in contact with you, for example? People can call um, my direct line at the church is 336-397-1345. Well, I should just repeat that again. Okay, 336-397-1345. My email address there at the church is D Pilson at centenary-ws.org. And that again. Just okay. D Pilson at Centenary dash Winston or I'm sorry, WS dot org. Yes. So Debbie, it's been a pleasure having you here and educating our audience about your respite program. Thank and you. Uh, thank you again for, for coming and Hope you all will find this useful and uh, reach out to Centenary for their respite program. So thank, thank you, Debbie, you. for coming once thank again. Thank you, Greg. You're welcome. It's a pleasure. Our pleasure.